Have you ever wondered how the modern desktop computer you use today came about? There was a time when digital communication and data processing was almost impossible for the majority. Moving forward to today, when we have sleek and powerful high-performance desktops that sit quietly and have the ability to carry out a wide range of operations at a time. But how did we get here? In this video, we'll explore the evolution of computing technologies from their early age till 2023. Let's dive right in. First stop, before the early age of computing in 1940. In the early 19th century, mechanical calculating devices and early forms of programmable machines were invented. Charles Babbage invented a machine that could compute mathematical tables, which was followed by his analytical engine project, which was introduced in the 1830s. The analytical engine had basic features that are similar to modern-day computers, features like the control unit, memory, and the ability to be programmed. Even though Babbage did not complete his project of a fully functional analytical engine, his concepts had a great influence on the future of computing. Ada Lovelace, who worked with Babbage, wrote the first computer algorithm for the analytical engine, which made her the first computer programmer. In the early 20th century, several electromechanical machines were invented. An example of this is the tabulating machine that was invented by Herman Hollerith. This machine played a vital role in the U.S. census that took place in 1890. This led to the foundation of the IBM company. Next, the early age of computing, 1940s to 1950s, and the birth of the digital computer, 1940s, 1945. ENIAC, the electronic numerical integrator and computer, often referred to as ENIAC, was developed by John Presper Eckert and John Mochley at the University of Pennsylvania. This was the first ever digital computer that served a general purpose. It had a gigantic structure and weighed about 30 tons, occupying 1,800 square feet of space. After this was the 1951 Univac 1. Univac. I stands for Universal Automatic Computer Y. It was invented in 1951. This was another of Presper Eckert and John Moshley's inventions. It was the first ever commercial computer that was delivered to a business client, the U.S. Census Bureau. This marked the beginning of the commercial computer age, the 1950s, and the early transistor computers. During the early 1950s, transistor computers came into existence. In 1952, the IBM 701, which was IBM's first commercial scientific computer, was made from vacuum tubes. It could perform about 17,000 instructions per second, which was an improvement from every other computer that existed. Moving forward to 1959, the IBM computers were upgraded to form the IBM 1401. This computer was prominently known as the first ever successful mass-produced computer that transitioned from vacuum tubes to transistors, which enhanced its reliability and reduced its size. Though its size was significantly reduced compared to the first, its mobility was still a big challenge. 1960s to 1970s, the mainframe and mini computer era. The 1960s era can be referred to as the mainframe dominance and the rise of mini computers. The early 1960s was dominated by mainframe computers, not until the late 1960s when the invention of mini computers began. The 1964 IBM System 360 was invented. This iconic computer belonged to the legendary family of mainframe computers that introduced the concept of a computer family that has compatible software. This was the inception of a standardized computing system. In 1965, the DEC PDP-8 was invented. This was the first ever successful commercial minicomputer by Digital Equipment Corporation, DEEC. Its smaller size and cost effectiveness made computing more accessible to smaller businesses and institutions compared to the IBM computers. One year later in 1966, Hewlett Packard ventured into the minicomputer market and manufactured the 1966 GP2116, which marked their transition from instrumentation to computing. Next, the microprocessor revolution in the 1970s. In the 1970s, the microprocessors were invented, which were also used for the construction of microcomputers. In 1971, the Intel 4004 was invented and was the first commercially available microprocessor. It was a 4-bit CPU that paved the way for the microprocessor era. The following year in 1972, the Intel 8008 was released. This was an advanced model having an 8-bit microprocessor that preceded the 4004. The Intel 8008 increases the computing capacity of a computer. Next stop, the early microcomputers. In 1975, the Altair 8800 
was invented and attributed as the beginning of the personal computer revolution. This microcomputer was based on the Intel 8080 microprocessor. After the inception of the Altair 8800, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak invented their first ever computer, the 1976 Apple I Tuan. The Apple Y was the bedrock for the Apple II and the future of personal computing systems. The birth of IBM PC can display and screen for better understanding of the viewers. The inventions of the 1980s were focused on mobility and portability friendly devices, which led to the rise of personal computers. In the 1980s, IBM entered the personal computer market and created its first PC, which was called the 1981 IBM PC. It featured an Intel 8088 processor. Its architecture was open, and it used a third-party software, which set a new industry standard. The 1982 Commodore 64 was invented and was popularly known for its amazing graphics and sound quality. Over time, it became one of the best-selling computers of all time. A few years later, Apple released a graphical user interface, GUI, called 1984 Apple Macintosh. This transformed the interaction between users and their computer. In 1985, Microsoft Windows Microsoft's response to the GUI trend, initially a graphical extension for MS-DOS, eventually evolved into the dominant PC operating system. Next, the rise of multimedia and the internet, 1990s. During the 1990s era, the multimedia, hardware, and internet had a significant outburst. The 1993 Intel Pentium was invented. This was Intel's fifth-generation microarchitecture. It offered high-performance improvements and multimedia capabilities. In 1994, Apple released the 1994 Power Macintosh. This new line featured the PowerPC processor, which was a collaboration between Apple, IBM, and Motorola. Prior to then, the World Wide Web, WWW, was released in 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee. His invention basically revolutionized desktop computing by offering access to a wide range of information and services with an internet connection. After the World Wide Web was created, the 1994 Netscape Navigator was then invented. This was one of the first widely used web browsers that connected users to the internet. Sound Blaster was then invented in 1989 to 1990s to improve the sound quality of desktop computers. Creative Labs Sound Card eventually became the de facto standard for PC audio, enhancing gaming and multimedia experiences. Not long after that, the 1996 3DFX Voodoo was announced as one of the first dedicated 3D graphics cards that enhances PC gaming experience. Next stop, the growth of laptops and the decline of desktops computers. In 2006, Intel released the Intel Core Duo, which was the beginning of Intel's shift to multi-core processors. This improved the performance of the desktop computer in multitasking and multimedia applications. In that same year, Apple introduced the MacBook. This was a significant advancement in mobility and portable computing. In this era, the laptops began to grow rapidly due to its portability, while the desktop was in a state of decline. In the 2000s, operating systems began to evolve. The 2001 Windows XP operating system was successful as an advanced feature of the desktop computer. Windows XP was widely known for its stability and user-friendly interface. A year later, Apple released Mac OS X, a modern operating system that brought Unix-based stability and a compelling user interface. Next, the evolution of cloud computing. In the 1990s, there were technological advancements that paved the way for modern cloud computing. The term cloud was coined by Andy Hertzfeld of General Magic in 1993 which translates to remote services and applications. In 1999, VMware remodeled virtual machines technology for x86 systems, which set the pace for early cloud and infrastructure. During the late 1990s, Salesforce pioneered software as a service, or SaaS, which became a crucial aspect of cloud computing. During the 2000s, cloud computing was conceived with the launch of Amazon Web Services, AWS, in 2002. AWS provided services like Simple Storage Service, S3, and Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, in 2006, providing storage and compute resources on a pay-as-you-go concept. During that period, other cloud computing platforms came on board, like the Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and IBM Smart Cloud. Next, 2007, and the iPhone moment. In 2007, Apple announced the iPhone. This was a mobile device that revolutionized the concept of smartphone and changed the standards for mobile computing and personal technology. On January 9, 2007, Steve Jobs unveiled revolutionary technology. 
This technology was a widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and an outrageous internet communication device. All three features were embedded into the iPhone. The first iPhone had a 3.5-inch screen, a powerful interface, and a mobile operating system that paved the way for the iOS. This made mobile computing seamless. The iPhone was a thriving device that everyone wished to possess. In 2008, Apple introduced the App Store, which allowed third-party programmers to upload their applications and download various software. Over time, the iPhone went beyond a normal mobile phone. It had sleek aesthetic designs and features of modern desktops and laptops with a user-friendly GUI. Next, the introduction of tablet. As mobile communication devices evolved, another computing device emerged. The concept of tablet device can be traced back to the 20th century until 2010, when it truly captured the public's attention. January 27, 2010, Apple introduced the iPad. This amazing device filled the gap between smartphones and personal computers. The first iPad had a 9.7-inch screen and operated on an iOS, just like the iPhone. It also enabled users to browse the web, read books, watch videos, play games, and other computing operations on a mobile device. The iPad rapidly caught the attention of users as they used it for both personal and professional purposes. Other tech companies also followed suit and created a tablet for their brand, like the Samsung Galaxy Tab and Microsoft Surface. Next stop, the modern era of computing, 2010 to 2023. In the 2010s, desktop computers had an improvement in processor technology. Intel launched the Intel Core 1-7 in 2010. This was a high-performance CPU that provides significant enhancement in desktop speed and efficiency. Seven years later, AMD stormed the CPU market by releasing the AMD Ryzen. This invention contended with Intel over dominance in the CPU market. Rise of high-performance graphics can display and screen for better understanding of the viewers. In 2016, NVIDIA announced a new graphic processing unit, which is the 2016 NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080, the NVIDIA GeForce. GTX 1080 was a high-end GPU that improved gaming experience and overall graphics performance. The 2020 AMD Radeon RX 6000 series was released a few years after. This was AMD's competitive high-performance GPUs. It was a direct alternative to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. In 2010, the solid-state drive storage format, also known as SSD, was founded and adopted. It had an improved data access with top speed compared to the common HHEs that were rampant. Three years later, the NVMe SSDs were also introduced. This improved the rate of data transfer and performance. Not long after, Windows released Windows 10 in 2015 for desktops and tablets. They had a major focus on user experience and cross-device compatibility. In 2016, Oculus Rift was launched. This was one of the first consumer-grade virtual reality headsets that pushed the boundaries of digital computing. Still in the same year, Microsoft launched the Microsoft HoloLens. The introduction of this augmented reality allowed users to interact with holograms overlaid on the real world. In 2020 to 2021, when there was a COVID-19 pandemic across the globe, most computers started to work from home, which increased the demand for a home desktop setup. Towards the end of the pandemic in 2021, Apple released their latest OS, which is the Mac OS Monterey. The Mac OS Monterey had features that had the ability to enhance productivity and connect the desktop with other Apple devices seamlessly. Forward to the 2023 desktop, which is powered by the new Intel Core i9-13900K processor, having 24 cores and 32 threads. This table machine is capable of delivering top-notch performance for gaming and professional use. It also features the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU and a random access memory of 24 GB, making it capable for handling complex graphical activities and 4K gaming seamlessly. It has a sleek aesthetic design and incredible RGB lighting setup to match its aesthetics. It operates on Windows 11 OS, having advanced features like enhanced system responsiveness and direct storage for enhanced speed. Who would have ever imagined that the legendary IBM computers would one day have a better version such as this that is more portable, flexible, faster, more efficient, and even customizable? Next, the dawn of AI. The AI revolution has remodeled our world, with artificial intelligence becoming a significant part of our everyday activity. In 2018, OpenAI launched its very first GPT-AI, which was the GPT-1. This version 
set the pace for GPT-2 and GPT-3. As the version kept stepping up, the capability and features of each kept developing. In November 2022, OpenAI announced ChatGPT, which was a configured chatbot version of GPT-3.5. It rapidly became popular for its two-way communication abilities and flexibility. This AI hit over a million users within five days of its launch. In March 2023, the GPT-4 was launched with advanced features. It has the ability to analyze and process both text and image inputs into the user's desired result. This AI enabled users to perform tasks like booking flights, making restaurant reservations, and even performing complex data analysis using plugins like Zapier. Next, Microsoft's AI PC in 2024. In 2024, Microsoft unveiled a new AI-powered PC. Its hardware was integrated with AI capabilities, which contributes to its high performance. This development in the world of PCs creates a new perspective on how computer operators view the capability of personal computing and harnessing the power of AI to carry out tasks and problem-solving complex operations. From the time of the gigantic machines of the 1940s to the present sleek and powerful desktops we use today, the evolution of desktop computers is proof to human innovation, creativity, and the unbeatable efforts to pursue technological advancement. Every decade has brought significant innovations that have changed how we work and play and also transformed our society for the better. While we anticipate the future, we can imagine what incredible innovations stands ahead in the world of desktop computing. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of computing and check out more videos on our channel.